So much goes into making a new one. And my old site, the one before my new one right now, that's like the sixth website it's ever been. And believe it or not, the first one, the original one I had, was just pictures of me because I kept trying to get on Food Network. I realized in late 2021 that I want to simplify a lot of things. And the first thing was branding and especially my logo. While I liked that sort of French cursive style, I also wanted to enhance it and make it a little bit better. So I reached out to my buddy Tony over at Catico, who does really amazing branding work. And I told him about what I wanted to do. So he sent over several different iterations of the logo and we circled ones we liked, X'd out ones we didn't like until we finally landed on one. And that's the one that you see here. But I couldn't quite figure out what to do in between the chef and the Billy Parisi. There was a blank space. We put a little swirls in there. And I finally started to think like, what's important to me or even my family or my family name? And then it hit me. And as you can see, that S has a lot, a lot of family recognition all the way back to my grandma. It's the S cookie. That's totally what the Parisis are known for, especially my family in Detroit. Everyone wants my Aunt Pam, Aunt Kathy, make the S cookie. So it's kind of a cool thing. And just little details like this, it goes into the branding of everything into my website. So it's super cool just to see something really small like that come to life. And of course, the colors on my website. Tony took different pictures of me and pulled out colors that are in my current studio. And that's where I get the blues and the browns and the grays. All of that plays perfectly into the brand and it all has purpose just like that S. And then it came time to actually start thinking about who's gonna build this site. So I reached out to my friend Natasha over at Natasha's Kitchen. I'm sure you all know her, she's amazing. And I loved her site, the functionality of it, the ease of it putting the food first, making sure the food pops. So I asked her, hey, who made your site? She pointed me to a company called Created, and then the long process started. I kept thinking like, what sort of sites do I like? And what are the colors that I like? And what do I want to be important on this website? All those different things started to come into play when making the decisions for the website. I knew I wanted to categorize it and make sure the recipes were really easy to find, super easy to navigate. I knew I wanted to point out, you know, my great newsletter and also a recipe box so you all could save the recipes right on my website so you never have to worry about where to find it. So the email started in late 2021 to get the ball rolling and it took several months. Literally, I feel like a million emails to make sure we got every single thing right. And after several months and several iterations of the website, we finally landed on exactly what I wanted. And so now it's live and I couldn't be happier. Love the way it looks. Love how the food pops right off the screen and it looks so delicious. Everyone who got me to this point, oh my gosh, huge thanks. Created Tony, Natasha, you all are amazing. So let me highlight a few things for you. Let's start with the homepage. My goal is to highlight recipes at the top that are really seasonal. And of course, right under that, you have categories right into a recipe search. A little bit about me. After all, the website is called BillyParisi.com. Then I have some trending recipes and latest recipes. So it's really easy to get to where you want to go from the homepage. And of course, you can definitely sign up for my email right at the top. You'll get my five amazing tricks to make any homemade food taste so much better. And then from there, Let's check out the recipes. This was really important to me to make sure everything was in categories that people are searching for. And within the categories, we have subcategories. So if you look at dessert, it will be broken down by pies, cakes, cookies, custards, you name it, it is decked out. And then of course, there's a most popular tag as well, which I've highlighted are the most popular search recipes within that category. And of course, you could just do a simple basic search as well. If you know what you want, you type in a word, anything that has that word in my recipes, it will show up in your search. Super, super clean, super easy. The other important piece, which is also a big part for me, are techniques. This is what I focus in on, understanding and practicing techniques so you can make whatever you want and always to elevate your everyday cooking. So I've divided it into three different categories. One, again, most popular. Two is going to be cooking method. This will be sauteed, oven roasted, whatever. Don't worry, I'm gonna add a lot more to these. And then the last one being preparation. This could be how to poach an egg, how to fry an egg, what to do with herbs. All those different things are gonna be in this section. 
And then let's go into a specific page and take a look at it. First things first, if the ads are driving you crazy, just click a little X in that top left or right corner, get rid of it. If you don't wanna see it, no problem. At the very top, you're gonna to see two different buttons, a recipe button with an arrow down. If you click that, it will immediately scroll down to the recipe card. If you wanna share it, that will share it to any of those profiles, whether it's Facebook or Pinterest, you can email it or even copy the link. And then if you scroll down the post, you'll see history, you'll see how to do it with step-by-step -step pictures, and importantly, chef notes and tips. This area is highlighted, and what this is is for any sort of substitutions or any important notes you need to make sure this recipe is a success. And let's talk about the recipe card for just a minute. That's the card at the bottom of the recipe post that's got the instructions, the ingredient amount, pictures, all that good stuff. I always get this message on social media like, I didn't see the ingredient amount in the procedures. That's because you're looking at the post, which has those step-by-step -step images. When I refer to the recipe card, that's that beautiful thing at the bottom. Okay, first things first. If I've created a video for this recipe, it will be featured right at the top of the recipe card. Also, really, really important. I get this question a lot for serving size. If you just put your cursor over the amount and you can slide it to the left or the right, it will increase the ingredient amount or decrease depending on how many people you wanna make this for. You can just put your thumb on it back and forth if you're on mobile. Either way works totally perfect. And then of course, you'll see the notes at the bottom. Those are just the chef notes put in the recipe card. And then last but not least, nutrition, which is on every single one of my recipe cards throughout my entire site. And then I've gotten so many emails and direct social media messages for this, the recipe box. This gives you the opportunity to save the recipes whenever you come to my site. It's so easy and awesome. I know you're gonna love this. Okay, here is what you do and how to get in it. All you do is click the recipe box. You'll see a bottom kind of swoop up and then you sign in. You're gonna give your email first. If you haven't signed up already, you're gonna go to the next page. You give your name, you give a password, boom, you're in. Now, you will notice in the bottom right corner of every single post and page, there's gonna be a little heart here. If you click on that heart, all of a sudden, it's gonna save it right to your recipe box. It means you love the recipe, you want easy access to it, that is where it will go. Then to access all of the recipes you've saved, just click your recipe box, you're already signed in, and you will see every little thing that you've hearted or saved. You'll also maybe see some recently viewed, other recipes you may like, a great section and an easy, easy way to make sure you save every single recipe on my website. That's one of my favorite things about this website. I think it looks beautiful. The food should hopefully speak for itself in the images. Love the branding, the logo, the colors. But the most important thing for me is functionality and ease of use. I want to make sure you can get exactly what you want in a short amount of time. Now, you know, I've only been really food blogging for the last four years. I mean, honestly, really putting a lot of effort into it those past few years. Years before that, I don't know. I was doing an okay job but I've got a lot more recipes to make. I've got a lot more videos to make. So if you hang on with me for the next several years, by the time hopefully I'm done with this, and Lord willing, it will be decked out with every recipe you could ever look for. Tons of videos, tons of step-by-step -step images, easy to share. And in the end, I can't say thank you to, enough to you, the viewer, the subscriber, the one who checks out the website all the time. A huge thank you. Honestly, if it weren't for you all, this website, any of my social media channels, they simply just don't exist. So I appreciate the support. You are so kind. I love all your just very encouraging words and messages and notes. It means the world to me. I can't even begin to tell you. It keeps me motivated and wanting to do more and more for you all. And hopefully in the future, we will do a lot more together. But for now, my recommendation is, I don't know, for me, I want pizza right now. I want pizza. That's what I'm doing. And that's what I'm craving right now. And because I'm thinking of S cookies and my grandma, you should definitely check out my Sicilian pizza recipe. I don't know. I just want it. I'll see you on there. Cheers. <music>